What's up guys? It's Sugar Skull Candy and we're back. It is August 24th, which means that it's almost Halloween. This has nothing to do with my video today. Do you guys like my rainbow? No idea if my hand is in the right spot, but it, it's cute. I was too lazy to put two nails on the wall, so I just did one. Today's video is very special because it is going to be released just a couple days before my one year anniversary on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's on August 31st. It was a year. Um, it'll be a year since I started YouTube and it has changed so much. <laughs> I started off thinking that I was just going to do literally just eye tutorials and that has changed so much. Although I do focus on my eyes a lot, I've expanded doing like full face theatrical, body paint and all sorts of makeup and I've re got into, I've learned a lot. I've learned so much about makeup this past year. I have found new brands that I love. I used to be like a drugstore only type of girl but now I've learned about everything and although drugstore, she's still my main girl, I have definitely come to love a lot of brands of makeup. So what are we gonna do today, you're wondering? Today, we are going to play with the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. Um, I got this, I literally ordered it right when it went on sale um, because I love Morphe and of course I love Jeffree Star, so I was like, I have to have it. And I really like this palette because it's like, you have your crazy colors in here like pink and green and purple but you also have a lot of nudes so it's very versatile i think it's awesome for someone who um wants just like a regular everyday palette because this definitely i just spit all over myself could be used every day and although it is not the jeffree star eyeshadow formula morphe still has some mom ass eyeshadow so she a good deal this was 34 dollars and you can use code JSTAR on morphe.com to get 10% off, so I think it was like 30. So yeah, today we're gonna play with this palette and watch through to the end for a little special surprise. Let's get started. I'm crying, cause I love you. Is anyone else obsessed with Lizzo lately? She is like, oh, I fucking love her. One thing that I love about this Morphe palette compared to their other palettes is that all the names are listed underneath the shades, which Jeffree Star was like, girl, we need those shades on the palette. So I really like that he did that. Also, the mirror is awesome because your girl needs a mirror. So first, I'm going to start off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Caramel and just do my brows. All right, we got our brows on. Next, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my favorite primer. It is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer in Nude 01. All right, now that our eyes are primed, we can dip in to the main event. So today, I've used this a couple times already, and I'm mostly done like uh, nude eye looks. But today, since I'm wearing yellow, I want to do something colorful. So we <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> are going to do the yellow green trend that's been happening on Instagram a lot lately with this palette. Um, there was one that Jeffree Star actually shared. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, um, but it's a guy, I can look up his username, I'll pop it up, um, <clears throat> who does a tutorial to the song to the theme song of Fairly Odd Parents, and it's awesome. Because <laughs> these two colors, he's speaking green, they're literally the same colors as Cosmo and Wanda, like literally Cosmo, both of these, and Wanda, like literally, come on. We see you. 
So I'm gonna start off with self-made and I am going to put that in the crease. Next, I'm actually going to take one of Jeffree Star's brushes. I did splurge on these. Um, this is the JS6 Morphe Star, Morphe Star, we should call it that, Morphe Jeffree Star brush. And I'm going to take Pink Fleet and add it below the pink and I'm gonna put it in the outer corner of my eye. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to take Lynn and I'm going to do that right underneath my eyebrow and to blend out that pink a little bit. Now I just have the Fairly Odd Parents theme song stuck in my head. All right, now that we're all blended out, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do like a half cut crease. So up until recently, whenever I did a cut crease, I would always use a very tiny brush, like so. Because so I thought, well, I have to be very precise, so I should use a very tiny brush. And I always got frustrated. The concealer was never even, it was always like blotchy. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And um, the other day I was watching one of Nikki Tutorial's videos, I, th I believe it was her, and she said to use like a, a slightly bigger brush and let the brush do the shaping for you. And I was like, huh, okay. And I tried it the other day, I'm like, oh my god, she's right. Such a queen. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I use more of like this size brush now to do my cut creases because as I'm doing it, it really makes the shape for me. So, little tip. The key with cut creases is to relax your eyes once you're done with the concealer to make sure that the concealer doesn't get lost in the crease because the whole point is to make your crease look bigger. And then I just like to take a little tiny um, beauty blender and just blend the edge out so it's more, so it's more of a seamless blend when you add your color on. All right, now that we have our cut crease, I'm going to go in with custom rims, I think. Actually, I'm gonna put welcome first. So I'm gonna go in with welcome and then I'm gonna put custom rims over top of that. All right, so we are not done with the eyes yet, but I'm going to go off camera and do my other eye so we can get into the face makeup and then finish the eyes. All right, now that we got the other eye cut up, we're gonna go ahead and do our face. I love how I always say like our face, like we share this face. This isn't just mine. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to start off with my, I need to buy the full size of this. I did not like this at first. But as I continue to use it, because I always do things that I spend money on, because I'm like, I spent money on it, so I have to use it, I ended up liking it. So I need to really buy the full size, but 
And I'm gonna try something a little different today. I usually prime my entire face, but my face gets so oily throughout the day. And it makes my makeup look very fake. Like, obviously when you're wearing makeup, you don't look natural, but it looks cakey and gross. And so I'm just gonna try only priming underneath my eyes, pretty much my T-zone, my nose, my forehead, my chin. I'm not gonna prime over here and around the face. I'm just gonna see what happens. I do have moisturizer on, by the way, so I'm hoping that'll be enough for the rest of my face. All right, then as always, I'm using my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade Custard. Then I'm going to go back to my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, just conceal underneath my eyes, bridge my nose, chin, etc. All right, now that we're concealed, I'm gonna go ahead and contour and add some blush. And then I think we'll go back to the eyes. I've been doing my contouring a little different lately. Um, for people who have bigger faces, like myself, um, you can't, it's kind of working against yourself to do a very thin line to contour your face. It's not flattering, um, which I've learned over the past year. So I've been taking a bigger brush, like a blush brush, and applying it that way so that it's a bigger line down my face. And I feel it's much more flattering for your face this way. By the way, I'm using the Pacifica Contour, what is this called? Bronze Rose Rose and Rose and Coconut Infused Blush and Bronzer. I got this in my Ipsy, I think, last month. Oh, I just realized there's a mirror on the back of it. What? Didn't even realize that. Um, I got this in my Ipsy last month and I was like so excited because I love Pacifica, as you guys know. Um, I love their skincare line. If you have horrible acne, um, dry skin, troubled skin of any sort look into Pacifica because it is amazing. It saved my skin. I have my breakouts here and there, you, you guys know, but it's come a long way since I've started using Pacifica. For blush today, I'm going to use this little Smashbox blush palette and I'm going to use the middle shade, which is called True Coral. All right, now that we're done with that, let's come back to the palette. Um, so I want to add some green to the bottom, I think. Even though I am really digging what it looks like right now, I want to add more from the palette. Let's see. So I think I'm going to take the shade Nate, which is this one right here. 
and add it to the bottom. Then I'm going to take Wake and Bake, which is the lighter shade next to it, and blend it out just a little bit. Then I'm going to go back to my pink shades and kind of just bring it full circle. All right guys, we are in the home stretch. I'm going to add a highlighter, do my lashes, add a lip, and we'll be all done. So for my highlighter, I think I'm going to use the shade 2 um, from the palette, which is from the top line that says, welcome back to my channel, Ding! one noise, which I love. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use the shade 2 as my highlighter. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. I do want to add something in the inner corner of my eye. I'm just gently going to take Glam Rapids, which is this bottom one in the corner here, and add it to the inner corner. dropped like 10 brushes on the floor so far during this tutorial. Today for mascara I'm going to use the Clinique Lash Power Mascara Long Wearing Formula and I like this because it has a very thin uh, wand. Next, I'm going to put on some accents, um, accent eyelashes. These are by Eyelure, and they just uh, sit right on the edge of your eyelid. They just add a little something. And I like them because they're not so heavy. When I wear a full set of fake lashes, they make my eyes water the whole time, and I just feel like I'm, I look like this the whole time. So, I like these accents. I'm going to take some black eyeliner to kind of mask um, the eyelash band just because the, um, the accents are a little more hard to blend than blend with your natural lashes than like the full sets. If that makes any sense at all. For my lips, I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Driver. It's like a nude. All right guys, so I spent a little more time on my lips than I had planned. I didn't record the whole thing because this video is getting a little long, so, um, but I just outlined my lip with this NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Sandstorm, and then I went in and took the same shade that I used in the inner corner, which was called Glam Rapids, and just dabbed it on my lips. Not sure how I'm feeling about the lips, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> All right, so if you watch this whole thing through, first of all, thank you, because this is a long ass video. Um, 
if you just clicked through to see what I wanted to say at the end, you are the worst kind of person. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, so yeah, so it's been one year since I started my YouTube channel, which is so exciting. And I figured I want to do a little something for you guys. So we are doing a giveaway. What am I giving away, you might ask? One of these. And just to prove that I got two, then I'm not just going to send you the one I had. Here she is. That's right. So I bought two of these Jeffree Star Morphe palettes because I wanted to give one away to one of you awesome subscribers. So what do you have to do to get into this giveaway? You might get... What do you have to do to get into this giveaway? Well, I'll tell you. So I want you to go to my Instagram, follow me. It's called Sugar Skull Candy with two Y's. And then once you've done that, come back to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe. Um, if you don't have a YouTube, make one and subscribe. Um, and lastly, I want you to comment on this video what you want to see me do this Halloween season because I love Halloween, I love doing just all sorts of Halloween makeup, and I need ideas. So what do you want me to do? Tell me down below in the comments. And actually it doesn't even have to be just song, uh, just, whoa, my brain is like skipping ahead. It doesn't have to be just makeup. Is there a song you want me to sing sometime soon? Um, cause as, I, as you know, I do post covers occasionally on here. So is there a certain song you want me to sing? Um, did you like my nail video? Do you want me to do more of that? Let me know. But I really am looking for Halloween ideas. So comment down below what you want me, blah, 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 what you want to see me do this Halloween season. Also in your comment, give me your Instagram handle or something that I can contact you if you are the winner. I cannot talk. And then once again, I just want to thank everyone so much. Thank you so much for following me. Um, this past year, it's been quite a ride and I'm so excited to see what this year is going to bring. All right, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Oh, by the way, the winner will be chosen one week from the day that this video is released. So I'm planning on posting this video on Tuesday, August 27th. So September 3rd, oh my God, it's gonna be September already. September 3rd is when I'm going to announce the winner and I'll contact that winner beforehand, so. All right guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, thank you.